Hey guys, today's Monday and I'm doing a weekly vlog. I'm at the beauty supply store and I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I got. Please excuse my appearance. I'm doing twists instead of braids. So I got this twisting hair. It looks similar to Marley hair and the girl inside said that it was good. And then I got a few things so I could start actually taking care of my hair. So I got conditioner, shea moisture, leave-in conditioner. Shea Moisture. I like to stick with the same brand that I wash and um, condition my hair with. I like to just like stick with the same brand. Then I got the gel by Shea Moisture. Instead of the Shine and Jam, which is what my hairstylist usually uses, I just thought I'd get the Shea Moisture because I'm already like within the shampoo. Okay, by the way, all of this in total came up to about $200. These, I have like four of them. I have a second bag with more hair, more lip balms. So I have like a bunch of these lip balms. I absolutely love the Beauty Supply Store lip balms because they actually work and they actually moisturize my lips and I want to keep one in like my purse, my belt bag, my car, my work bag. Like I want to keep one everywhere. I have the sticky one too, but I really like these ones because they're effective and they actually moisturize my lips instead of leaving them sticky and fill me like my lips are moisturized. What made my bill so high was the fact that I had to get like 8,000 packs of hair or like $12 per pack and I had to get like eight. and then these are like freaking $30 a pot like these are expensive too right if you want good brands it's gonna it's gonna cost like these are like 30 40 dollars each one I just like spent the money because first of all my shampoo and conditioner is gonna last me like three months so you know just bite the bullet spend the money and then hair is just a given is expensive I decided to do twists let's see how they look I hope I'm not mad with the hair style. I hope I'm happy with it just a side note I am finished with school for the summer i'm on my youtube grind i'm on my content grind because i have so many fun exciting things coming up this summer so if you're new please subscribe like it's gonna be good trust me. i have vacations i have cotties i'm probably gonna go to new york meet up with a friend that i met on vacation last month like it's gonna be lit yeah and just like regular day-to-day -day vlogs like casual vlogs like everything like that but i'm absolutely excited to just get back into like my passion go ahead and subscribe become a sweet timer yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go to my hairstylist's house and get my hair done because this is not a cute look so today's hair done tomorrow i'm getting my nails done and wednesday hopefully i'm going to get my lashes done we're just gonna like chill this week this week is really like focused on like getting back my good looks school has sucked me dry look at my nails i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do give it a big thumbs up bye Okay, hold up. Wait, I'm rocking. I'm rocking with this. Oh my gosh, I gotta. I'm down with this, guys. How I used to do my hair when I was little. Okay, we're gonna take a better look when I get in the house. But so I just got home and I thought I'd show you guys the hair in better lighting. I'm just like playing around with it, cause you know when you get your hair done, you gotta like play around with it some more. It's like different from the braids, but I think I like it. And it took one hour less than when I do my braids, but. Anyways, we'll see how I look once my lashes are done and the whole look together. Hmm. Oh no, might have to marinate a little bit, but I'm not good with it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not terrible. I don't really know how I feel about it in the moment. Whereas when I get my braids done instantly, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I think I just have to get used to this because I haven't done this since I was literally like a child. So I need to get my eyebrows done and I need to get my nails done. And I think I will feel a lot better, but I'm not angry at it at all. I just think I have to get used to it. You know those ones when you get your hair done and you're like, oh, like you're crying, like you're mad. Like I'm not like that. I'm just like, ooh, hope this is a little bit, ooh, culture shock. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not mad at it at all. It's actually cute. Ai có vui mi lấy? Okay, hey guys, so I got my eyebrows done as you guys can see. So obviously it makes the face a little bit brighten up, but anyways, I'm getting my lashes done tomorrow, so I'll keep you guys updated. Bye! I'm gone in my hostel. I also did big waves. Big wave, big wave. So break it up, break it up. Big wave, big wave. Break it up, break it up. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. What are you wearing today? Oh, I'm wearing this little lemon scuba hoodie, and I'm wearing some clear leggings. And look at her kicks. Fire. <laughs> yeah, just regular stuff. You don't want that in the background. How is it? It's ten out of ten. Ten out of ten, eh? Yeah. These look 
real good and gross. <laughs> this ginger ale is so good too. It's no more to do. Mm -hmm. Ginger ale. <laughs> Yourself. I'm Darius. Who are they you? Know me. Stop acting like that. Speak. Hey, no <laughs> way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Janae versus Darius. I need to see you make a net. Make a net, Jen. Make a goal. Make a score. So who won and who lost? I won. I was still sitting right there. There's the score. <laughs> no habla English. We're playing the games right now. What, are we, what is we doing? Down the clown. Say cheese. Go like this. Go like this. Jen is the clown. Around town. Going my rounds. Yeah, we're ready to play. What? Oh, we know how to read the book. That's what I was seeing the whole time. Okay, so let me and Jen put around zero point five. There's no more. There's no more credits on the card. Let me do one after. Say hi. <laughs> A little tour to play. Oh. Mm hmm. I think you guys should be happy I'm featuring you in my vlog. Go like this, go like this. Go like this. Go like this. Obsessed with me. Hey, lift the camera up higher. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. So we just finished eating at Danny's. And I'm with Jan. And I'm with Darius. How did you guys enjoy your meals? I'm gonna post it. What is this about? Oh shit, I almost hit that car. Is this the house? I don't even really remember it. This lighting is so amazing. <laughs> Are you shaking? <laughs> Wait. Is this a shot? I don't know. Tell me Are we taking shot. shots or what? How much is that? I have no clue. Whatever is fine. That is a shot. Where's your I shot glass? You Dude, take clips from my YouTube video. Where's your camera at? I forgot it at home. Shakela doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. I don't know what to say there. Um, there. Yeah, Yo, we're just living. You want to say hi, Sifna? Are you still scared of the camera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say something positive about me. Shakela's a very funny... My name is Kayla. Okay, <clears throat> Kayla. Kayla is very funny looking. Ah! <laughs> Two, three, opa. Okay, okay. Oh shit! You took that, eh? Scared. I'm scared of this drink. No chase either. You guys are crazy. What chase do you want, bro? Is there like Juice? Coke or something? Coke. Yeah. Sure. Blood of Jesus. Blood. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm literally walking back home from the worst it I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot do this dating scene anymore. Today's date was an absolute shit show. Where do I even begin before I forget? Let me blur it all out. So basically, okay, all the terrible things he did today. Okay, first of all, this started from the very beginning. I was like, do I go? Do I go? Do I go? So I was having this gut instinct like, do I go? Like, he didn't even want to take me out to dinner. Mind you, I get that it's 10 p.m., but... He started off by offering me, do you want to go to my place and I'll cook you dinner? I'm a good cook. Immediately fucking no. The fuck do I look like? Immediate the fuck no. Ew. Whack ass. He's like, oh, do you want to go to my house for dinner? I said no. Drinks. Guys, I look so pretty, by the way. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. 
So he's like, that to me. Okay, we'll go out to the movie and have drinks. Not my typical scene. Not what I typically do. But my girls were just like, give him a chance, right? So I gave him a chance. Look where I fucking end up. Look where I fucking end up giving this bastard a fucking chance. <sighs> Guys, I'm so tired. I literally just walked. Oh, oh my. And I'm out of shape, bitch. <laughs> All my type of stick bitches. I like thick bitches. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna slide past that one too. It just progressively got worse. As we were in the car, he starts talking about, oh, um, you all, you're the exception to the rule because I've never met a black person that likes country before. Typically, black people don't really like, you know, country or heavy metal. So you're the exception to the rule. You're not like typical black people. They're usually a certain way. They fit in a certain box that society views them as, and you're not that. I was like, bring me home. Bring me home, right? I get around the block, and then he's like, yeah, like, I'm like events coordinator, and, you know, one of my supervisor comes up to me, and she's just like, this lineup for speakers is too white. We need some color in here. We need some diversity. I said diversity. He was like, my, my manager said we need some color in the lineup. There's too many white people and there's too many women. And then he's like, personally, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in looking at a group of people and saying, oh, it's too white or it's too black. Oh, uh, like, for example, Wakanda. I never... <laughs> Hold on, hold on. So he's like, for example, I never looked at Wakanda and said, oh, there's too many black people. Bro, brother, I can't make this up. So he said, him, uh, yeah, when we're watching Black Panther, uh, I don't see, oh, there's too many black people. So why is she looking at my lineup and saying, oh, there's too many white people? And, there need, and it needs to be more black people in the lineup. Like, like, I don't believe in that. And then he goes on to say, oh, fuck Trudeau, by the way. He's like, so a boy was speaking to Trudeau. And then he said something about mankind. And then Trudeau stopped him and said, people kind. And like, fuck that. We have bigger fish to fry. Then he starts talking about Black Lives Matter. He's like, yeah, like, if Trudeau was to put an end to Black Lives Matter and um freeze their assets, it would be a whole uproar. But he can do that to, you know, people downtown. And, da -da. and I literally told him, I'm just like, bro, I don't care about politics. Like, you're talking to me about all this rah-rah. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. Tomorrow, I'm going to wake up and go shopping. I do not fucking care what you're telling me. Like, I don't care. You're only telling me about Black Lives Matter because I'm black. Like, oh, I fucking, I can't. I literally cannot. I am exhausted. And I'm ready to go in my bed. I don't have no more fight left in me. I'm calling it quits for the night. Of course, I have to come home to pull on the floor. Surprise, surprise, there's pull on the floor, right, princess? Surprise, surprise, there's pull on the floor. Surprise! No, we're not fucking surprised.